During its less complicated days, John and Kate Plus 8 pulled in record ratings, to the point where it was even dominating network TV shows. But a decade and a messy divorce later, things aren't quite as glam as they once were for the reality TV mom. Here's a look at what Kate Gosselin's life has been like in more recent years. While appearing on The Dr. Oz Show in late 2016, Kate opened up about her struggles dealing with negative tabloid stories over the years. It drags you down, it eats away at you, um, it drains your physical energy. The reality star added that she feels like no matter how many interviews she does, there will still be people out there who believe the quote, tabloid picture of her that's been created. She also became particularly incensed when she talked about how the bad press affected her children. And it angers me even more when it affects my children and it talks about them. Back in 2014, Maddie and Kara Gosselin made headlines when they appeared on the Today Show with their mom. Kate asked them to refute reports that they were unhappy and don't like being on TV, but the girls clammed up. Maddie, your words. Oh, it's, it's hard. Chance. It's a hard it question. Maddie continued to blank, so anchor Savannah Guthrie tossed a question to Maddie's sister, who also chose not to speak. According to the New York Daily News, the famous mom reportedly went, quote, type A crazy on the girls backstage. But that was only the beginning of the twins' journey into adolescence and all the drama that comes with it. As Kate Plus 8 continued, it became clear that Kate's iron-fisted rule over the house was buckling under the pressure of raising two teenage daughters. The tense dynamics have led to some memorable moments on the show, and according to Us Weekly, the famously uptight Kate has learned to adapt. She said during a 2017 episode, They are hard on me. I give it as hard as they give it. Honesty is good, and that just means they can feel honest in the family. As of 2019, both Maddie and Kara have moved away for college. Unfortunately for their children, the animosity between Kate and her estranged ex-husband is alive and well. Speaking to Us Weekly in October 2019, John revealed that the former couple being able to agree on how to raise their eight children is a near impossibility. He explained, I don't think co-parenting is ever going to exist between us because we are never going to see eye to eye. We have completely different parenting styles and she still wants to film, but I'm never going to sign work permits. Referencing Kate and TLC's decision to allow their kids to appear on Kate Plus 8 despite a judge's ruling stating it would be harmful to the children, John added, That already went to court, and I won, but she went against my legal rights. Although John has had custody of Hannah and Colin since late 2018, he claimed that he had almost no contact with the other six kids because of Kate. During a September 2019 interview with Daily Mail TV, John alleged that Kate mentally abused and tortured their son Colin before labeling him special needs and sending him away to an institution. John provided the outlet with some of the 50 to 60 letters he reportedly received from the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services, which had alerted him that Kate was allegedly under investigation of suspected child abuse. Most of those claims involved Colin. John explained, Other than ADHD, which is extremely common, Colin has never been diagnosed with any known medical condition. There's nothing wrong with him. But Kate sent him away. She couldn't deal with him. He was alone for three and a half years with no parents, all locked up. It was inhumane. I did not know where he went. And it took me two and a half years to find him. And then it took me an extra year to get him out. John didn't hold back throughout the interview, claiming that his children would one day tell their truth about growing up with the militant Kate. He said, I know my children have suffered abuse, and I know one day they're going to tell their own story. And sadly enough, I know what PTSD is. It's really upsetting. Kate returned to television in 2019, this time to find love. In the trailer for TLC's Kate Plus Date, which premiered in June, the famous mom of eight revealed that she hadn't dated anyone since her divorce from John in 2009. Have you noticed? I'm single for the last decade. While the reality show was designed for Kate to find a new man in her life, a source told the Straight Shooter podcast, Don't hold your breath, Kate isn't easy. She is one tough cookie and really isn't interested in compromising or finding love. All she really cares about is Kate. 
The insider went on to reveal that starting a relationship wasn't necessarily Kate's goal for the TV series, claiming she did it for money and getting back on TV. Had Kate been offered a travel show or fashion show, we would be watching her traveling around the globe or doing makeovers. But dating was all that producers offered, and that is why we are seeing Kate with a bunch of possible love interests. Kate would be the first to tell you that she's not perfect and has made mistakes while raising her eight children in front of TV cameras. But at the end of the day, she's provided a future for her kids that she wouldn't have been able to afford without their reality fame. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.